Boat owners in the Oceanside Harbor have some new dockmates, sea lions, and they're causing damage. Each seal could weigh up to around a thousand pounds for a big bull seal. You get a couple of them on there, they break swim steps, they've sunk boats, um, their oily skin, uh, their excrement gets on the side of boats, dries like concrete, and they've just been an absolute nuisance. Devin Halford cleans boats at the harbor. He says he saw an increase in sea lions after the Encina power plant in Carlsbad was decommissioned. So they started by removing the giant floats that mark the cooling tubes uh, out in front in the ocean, out in front of the power plant, and that removed the seals' homes. So they got dispersed or displaced in either direction. Some went down to Seal Beach, same some came up here. To accommodate the growing presence of sea lions, the Oceanside Harbor has built a floating platform for them that serves as a safe haven. But they don't always stay there. Captain Bobby Watkins owns boats in the Oceanside Harbor. It's all poop staining from their bodies. While trying to get to his boats, he's had some close encounters. And they get up on the dock uh, next to your boat and they defecate and it goes all over your boat and then it's really hard to get it off. Uh, if you don't get it off right away, it seems to stain it and stay there. The concrete is stained. Uh, the smell takes a long time to get rid of. And, uh, and they're kind of dangerous trying to get to your boat. Harbor staff say they routinely shoo sea lions away by pounding the dock with a broom handle. The sound and vibration tends to move them along. Staff recommend boat owners politely move the sea lions off the docks. Uh, you have to spray them with water to try to get them off is what we've done. We put up barriers trying to do that and they'll knock them over, knock them in the water. Michael Milstein is with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. They are the agency in charge of the protection of marine mammals and protected species. Anything that could lead, essentially, that could lead to their death is, is off limits. So, but, um, you know, people have tried putting up rails in places, um, uh, using, you know, water hoses and uh, paintballs in some cases have been effective. Milstein says that at some point, California sea lions were endangered, but the Marine Mammal Protection Act has helped increase their population, but their habitat has decreased. You know, many of them have lost habitat to development and, and you know, other human impacts. So we have to recognize that in some cases, you know, we're taking up space to where they used to be right at home and, and um, you know, that's affected them. Milstein recommends the public keep a safe distance, do not feed the sea lions, and dispose of bait as far away from harbors as possible. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.